So the cab aside, which does need an update and a little refresh, you know, these, this is a good tractor, you know, yeah. it is a nice tractor. Well, it's got all the right bits, hasn't it, it really? Has, yeah, yeah. Crow roll front axle, FPT engine, ZF transmission, Bosch hydraulics. I mean, you've got, that's all top shelf stuff, that, isn't it? It is, yeah. really. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another review from us. And today you find us in McCormick's new short wheelbase X7 series. So the clue is in the title and the big news is it doesn't have the half frame chassis, which traditionally all the X7s had. Now, while that worked really well for the higher powered models, giving them that, you know, that nice extra length, that good length of wheelbase and weight to get the power down. However, for the smaller and, well, for the lesser powered X7s, the, uh, the power to weight ratio uh, wasn't quite as good as you can imagine. So, revealed last year in 2022, McCormick have come up with this, this short wheelbase version which doesn't have the half frame chassis up front. And with that, they've actually managed to shave off thick end of half a ton off the X7. And as you can imagine, it's a little bit shorter as well. And it is a little bit more maneuverable as a result. But physically, what these new short wheelbase X7 six cylinders provide is a really good stepping stone, a really nice gap filler between the smaller four-cylinder X7s and the bigger six-cylinder half-frame chassis X7s. Now, the model we have on test is the X7.618 X7, obviously being the series, the uh, .6 meaning it's got six cylinders and 1.8 relating to the horsepower. Now there's two models in the uh, X7 short wheelbase series. There's this one, and there is also the 617 as well. Transmission wise, that smaller 617 is a power shift only, whereas this one here can either be power shift or continuously variable transmission. Now the one we've got is what McCormick calls its P6 drive, which is power shift, a semi power shift. It's a ZF unit and it offers five ranges with six power shifts in each range so lots of gears to go at and we will talk a lot more about that as we go on with this episode as ever if you are watching this video on one of our social media channels unfortunately for you guys the video will run out very shortly but fear not head on over to landpowertv.com to watch the video in full. There's no adverts getting in the way either, and we've got all the specs to go with this machine on there as well. Right then, on with this review of our 180 horsepower X7 short wheelbase tractor, and already we've done a good couple of jobs with it. We've uh, really put it to work actually this week. Um, we've had it out with a Teagle rear discharge muck spreader, which, is a, which was a real good test of power for it. Uh, amongst other things and right now as you can see I am just doing a little bit of slurry tanking with it and then hopefully a bit later on in the video fingers crossed weather permitting all that jazz 
uh, we're going to do some tillage work as well. So all that to come. In the meantime, we will uh, we'll crack on and we shall see what we can find. So as we make our way back to the yard to fill up this tanker once again, I thought we'd kick off this uh, review of this tractor with a little bit of cab chat. Now, cab-wise, it's fairly status quo in here. Not a lot has changed since it was launched back in 2014. There has, obviously, there's been quite a bit of evolution. I mean, the biggest thing you'll notice compared to the older models is the option of this uh, DSM touchscreen terminal. They've also done a few other little tweaks in here as well, improved materials here and there. Uh, they've increased uh, seat swivel as well because that console, this sort of side console used to come around a little bit further. So there's more space, get a bit more seat swivel and you don't trap your hand when you are adjusting the linkage controls as well. They've still got the main control lever for all of your primary functions or pommel, I think they call it. But the biggest difference, and I think they introduced them a few years back, is that there's now more of these my buttons which are configurable buttons and you can pretty much put anything you want on there so you could have the shuttle on there you could have the button to activate your automatic transmission or you could have some spools on there you could have one spool there in and out and another one down there in and out you can pretty much have anything on this and again that's all configured through the terminal now, just as we head back to the farm for another load, uh, just going back to this main drive lever. Now, it does move, it moves forwards and backwards, but that does nothing on this power shift tractor. That is there for the CVT models. Obviously, you can, if you're in lever mode, you can nudge it up and you go a little bit faster, pull it back and you go a little bit slower. But on this power shift model, it does nothing. Still moves, but does, does nothing. Uh, a bit like myself sometimes, which I think is a little bit of a missed opportunity by McCormick because that actually, nudging it back and forward, would be great to change up and down the gears, you know, through the power shifts. Also, if you're operating this tractor in full auto mode, it would be quite nice to have this movement kind of drive it like a CVT, you know, giving the tractor instruction to go that bit faster and then the tractor then works out well what gear and what engine speed it needs to be to achieve that target that you've just given it by nudging it forwards and backwards. So I think that's a little missed trick. You never know, it may come. It would be really good if it could come. Uh, in the short term, it would be really good if that actually just changed gear because you might as well, might as, you know, it's got it. You might as well use it, hasn't it? Right, so as we are sat here once again, filling up the tanker, I thought I'd just show you this uh, this DSM touchscreen terminal uh, that McCormick has. 